Time to the half hour on an analog clock, lesson 9.7. If you haven't seen video 9.6, you need to watch that first, and there's a link in this description so you can go there. We can tell time to the half hour on a clock that only has an hour hand. When the hour hand points to a number, that is the time as o'clock. This is one o'clock. See the hour hand is pointing to the one. We can write it as a one with a colon, that's the two little dots here, and a zero, zero. When the hour hand points in between two numbers, that is the time as half past the hour. We say half past one o'clock. See? It's in between the one and the two, so it's half past the one. Here we have three clocks. This one says two o'clock. The hour hand is pointing at the two. This one says half past two o'clock, or half hour past two o'clock, because the hour hand is pointing in between the two and the three. And this clock says three o'clock because the hour hand is pointing to the three. In between each hour, right in the middle, is a half hour. In between each number is one hour, and in the middle of them is a half hour. It's between each number on the clock. If it's between two o'clock and three o'clock, it's half past two o'clock. And half past two o'clock is after two o'clock. It's before three o'clock. So this time here, it's after two o'clock, but it hasn't become three o'clock yet. As an hour passes, the hour hand moves from one number to the next number. Here we have four o'clock, the hour hand's pointing to the four. Here we have five o'clock, the hour hand is pointing to the five. When a half hour has passed, the hour hand points halfway between two numbers. It's in between the four and the five, that's half past four. The hour hand is in between the four o'clock and the five o'clock. Here the hour hand is in between the five and the six. It's half past five. It's in between the five o'clock and six o'clock. Tala has a violin lesson at four o'clock. The lesson ends at half past four o'clock. How much time is Tala at her lesson? Is it an hour or is it a half hour? Well, it started at four o'clock and it ended at half past four. That's a half hour. It still says four o'clock here, it's just half past it, so it's a half hour. Write the time that is on the clock. It's in between the eight and the nine. So it's not nine o'clock yet. It's not eight o'clock because it's past it. It's in between the eight and the nine. So do you know what time this clock says? It's half past eight. We write half past eight o'clock. half past eight o'clock. Now I showed this in the other video. This is my big, huge teaching clock. As the hour hand and the minute hand go around, they go around in this direction. That's called clockwise. And every time this minute hand goes around one full time, the hour hand moves to the next number. And we did this in the last video. The minute hand is pointing to the 12. If I make it go all the way around, back straight up to the 12, it moves to the next hour, the five o'clock. 
if I do it again, now it's pointing at 5 o'clock, if I move it all the way around back up to the 12 again, the hour hand moves to the 6 o'clock. And each time the minute hand goes around one full time, the hour hand moves to the next number. The minute hand makes the hour hand move. They work together like gears. So half past is halfway past the hour. It is between that hour and the next hour. Emma went to bed at half past eight o'clock. Draw the hour hand on the clock to show what time Emma went to bed. It's half past eight o'clock, so it's going to be in between the eight o'clock and the nine o'clock. So we can draw the hour hand, and remember it's shorter. It's not very long. We start here, and it points in between the eight and the nine to be half past eight o'clock. Lisa woke up at half past seven o'clock. She ate lunch at half past eleven o'clock. She did her homework at half past four o'clock. Now look at this clock. Write what Lisa does at the time shown. What time does this show? It's in between the 11 and the 12. It's not 11 anymore, but it's not 12 yet. If you said half past 11, you're right. And what did she do at half past 11? She ate lunch. Lisa ate lunch at half past 11 o'clock. Now, if you want more videos about learning to tell time, that go into detail with minutes and seconds and quarter two and quarter past, there's going to be links in this video's description to the grade two math videos about time. Our next lesson is tell time to the hour and half hour. That's lesson 9.8. Have you been practicing telling time to the hour? Now you can tell time to the half hour. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.